hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for a day so this is my one plus not two and this is nothing for one and surprisingly both are running with this new nothing was launcher 2.5.11 last time we created a video review of old nothing was launcher version 2.5.7 for all android 14 and android 13 devices with the stock or the custom rom os but with this new nothing was launcher it has some new features like new AI wallpapers and some extra widgets that were actually even not present in my original Nothing Phone 1 launcher. It comes with the Nothing widget latest port version 2.1.0 and the new latest weather app port 2.0.8 and the wallpaper picker app port. Remember this model may work or may not work properly with all the devices you may face some random bugs here and there or the launcher will not work 100% for some devices. You have to give at least one try to check this if it's working for you or not. In this video, I show how to enable this module, what are the working widgets and the new AI wallpapers of the Nothing launcher along with their bugs. So watch this video carefully till the end to know its usability and non-working features. Now with the further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. This is my OnePlus Nord 2. I am using the Evolution X Android 14 based custom ROM in this device. So first requirement is that this new launcher version 2.5.11 will only works on the Android 14 stock or any AOSP based custom ROM. I have given the other old version also in the description which will work on any Android 13 based ROM. Next requirement is that your device must be rooted with the Magix or the kernel to support. Now download the launcher module from the link given under the video description. Flash this module via Magix installer or you can also flash this via kernel swap application. So here my Magix flashing is done. Let's reboot the device. Once your device booted back, under the Magix module or the kernel swap module section, check your module is properly installed or not like this. Now go to the application section under the setting. Here search for the default application and there select the default launcher as a nothing launcher. That's it. Our launcher is working here properly. So let's check out some features available in the launcher. First one is the nothing widgets. Launcher comes with a huge list of nothing was exclusive widgets that will now work on any device using this mod. Who gets the new nothing was clock widgets with the circular and rectangular shape and these widgets has the nice animation also. This feature is also shown in the old video. Next we get the nothing compass widget which will help us to detect the direction on the go on the home screen of your launcher. And it's pretty accurate when I tested this on my OnePlus Nord 2. Next we get the new media widget but actually it's not working in my Nord 2. But this not means that it will not work for you. You have to test it yourself. This widget actually shows the ongoing media playback and we can actually backward or forward and pause the songs directly using this widget. This media widget was also not working in the old build. I tried different applications like SoundCloud and Spotify but widget still didn't show any media playback for the both the application. It continuously asking to open any music application. Next good thing is that wallpaper widget is working with this new version. In the old video in my OnePlus 6 it was buggy and not working. Here I was able to add different wallpapers in the widget setting and they can be visible and scrollable on the home screen. Next weather widget is also working now with this new version. In the old version in my OnePlus 6 it was not working. When you first time add the widget we have to give the location permission to the widget once done, after a few seconds, who gets the actual weather condition on the widget with the surrounding maximum and the minimum temperature in the Fahrenheit. If you tap on the widget, it will open the nothing was weather application which is fully working here. In the application, everything is working. It will show us the weather condition with the icon on the top. Who gets the maximum and minimum temperature of surrounding air quality around us, UV index, weather condition as per timing, weekly weather prediction for the temperature and the condition, 
humidity percentage, wind speed, sunset timing, where showcase the setting to enable the weather warnings. All the things are working in this weather application. Next new widget is the new screen time. It's not available in the old version that we reviewed last time. Once you add this widget on the home screen, we have to give all the permission to widget, then you can set the screen timing alert for your daily screen users. In the widget, you can get the current users of the device. Once it reaches to our daily users time, it will show us the alert to stop the users of the device. Next widget is for the pediometer count, but it's still not working properly for me like old build we reviewed in the old video. This widget has the daily step count and the 7 days average count status along with the step calendar. Though it's not working in my device, it may work for you, it's a device specific issue. Except these other widgets like the device battery percentage status is available which shows us the device battery percentage and if we tap on it, it will redirect in the system battery stats. Except that all the stock widgets will be available in the setting. Under the customization, now wallpaper based and the custom color monet themes are working, which was buggy in the old build. Separate dark theme toggle is also available here. Nothing exclusive, a compact is available and it's working good. In this new launcher port, nothing exclusive wallpapers are available, but in the old build, there were no any wallpapers. Other features while applying the wallpapers like the wallpaper scrolling and the new atmospheric wallpaper are available and working. Atmospheric wallpaper feature worked for a while in my device but later it was causing the force reboot of the device. Actually this feature was working with the old version in the OnePlus 6 perfectly as as shown in the old video. So if this version caused any issues for you then you can use it by using the old build. Similarly who okay, case the some solid wallpapers here. Except this one big feature that is not available in my original nothing phone one launcher is AI generated wallpaper we can use two different themes and can generate any kind of wallpapers using the AI feature as you can check in the video this feature generates the amazing wallpapers we are so case the option to download generated wallpapers and it will be also available under the wallpapers and the style section except these other features like the app folder cover icons and the shapes are available under the customization section and they are working good. So this is the new updated mod of Nothing Launcher that we reviewed in the last video. This new update offers many new features which were not present in the old build. Some old bugs are also fixed in this build. Remember, you have to try this on your own device and let us know is it working for you or not with any bugs or not. From my side, I can confirm it's working for the OnePlus Nord 2 working with the Galaxy devices with the One UI 6.0, Pixel devices with the Android 14. But it's not worked on my OnePlus 6, so I used the old build. So that's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for such amazing mods. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.